Hello, welcome to the channel if you subscribe and leave your like. In September 1811, British writer Francis Burney had to undergo a mastectomy to treat breast cancer and wrote about the painful experience. Entitled A Paris Account of a Terrible Operation, the letter is one of the first detailed descriptions of what surgery was like before the invention of anesthesia. Burney testimony offers a detailed insight into the physical and psychological pain that the patients had to face. Trying to find ways to reduce pain without anesthesia, different methods were tested. Some were harmless and ineffective, while others were dangerous. Shall we meet them? 1. Alcohol and other potions, alcohol intake was quite common. Doctors intoxicated patients until they no longer cared about the pain. Alcohol was also used as a solvent in some sedative potions that healers tried to create. An example is the mephizan, created by the Chinese surgeon Hua Tua in the second century. It is not known what the exact recipe for the potion was, but it is believed to have contained cannabis or aconite, a poisonous plant that can be fatal. 2. Blows, Pressures and Hypnosis Potions that can poison the patient might not be the best option, just as a heavy blow to the head isn't either. However, this was often the only way to render the patient unconscious for surgery. The method had good intentions, but it could cause head trauma. Pressing on nerves or arteries in the neck to cause numbness and numbness was also a technique used. Pressure in the arteries was less common because it put the patient's life at risk by obstructing blood flow to the brain. Hypnosis was the least dangerous option and could be effective, however few people are susceptible to the method. Speed, a good option was to rely on fast and skilled surgeons, like Robert Liston. His operations in the early 1840s were known to be swift, intense, and successful. The chance of dying from an amputation surgery performed by Liston was 1 in 6, a statistic considered a success at the time. From the first cut to the fall of the member, the duration was only 25 seconds. The arrival of anesthesia, the most complicated operations depended on anesthesia not only to avoid pain, but also to relax muscles and access internal organs. This became possible in the mid-19th century, when the first scientifically proven sedative appeared, diethyl ether. Around this time, chloroform also entered the scene, which allowed surgeons more time to operate calmly. In the 1850s a debate about the risks and benefits of anesthesia began to emerge. Some doctors believed that pain was necessary for the operation to be successful. At the beginning of the 20th century, the first local anesthetics and the first professional anesthetists began to appear. Ether and chloroform continued to be used as general anesthesia. It was during World War II that the drugs in phases used today were developed. Hence, Herrick Griffith's famous claim out of something that killed tens of thousands of people came drugs that saved hundreds of thousands. Until the next video with more curiosities.